I run across because I listen to things beyond what Frank listens to. He's kind of stuck in the 20s. <laughs> uh, one thing he did not say was um, Lil and, and Louie were married when they played here. And they lived a couple blocks that way on Guile. Lil being... Uh, Lil Armstrong. And um, I can imagine them, you know, like four in the morning walking arm and arm and gig a couple other things. Sonny Boy Williams yeah. played around here after the jazz days. He was a harmonica player. The first one, there's actually two of them. One of them stole the identity, the other one continued. But he, I think he was playing at the, at the plantation or was it here, at like the Grand Terrace, when this place was the Grand Terrace. He lived down on Giles too. Uh, unfortunately, one night after a gig, he was stabbed on his way home. And, um, his wife saw him laying on the front steps and thought he was drunk and just left him there. And unfortunately, he died. <laughs> but uh, this is a great area, you know. When I started getting into jazz, I came down here just to try to get the feel of the place and everything. Um, down on State Street, down on uh, South Michigan Avenue, there was all kinds of clubs, there was all kinds of uh, record stores, pawn shops, pool halls. This was the center right here. This is where the Chicago political machine was started, right here. This is where the African-American vote was born, right here, in this neighborhood. Originally Republican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> Anything else to add, Frank?